It's winter time in the Florida Keys, and that means wire. During the winter time, our fishery really expands, and it comes in closer as they follow that bait. Been watching some of my videos, you'll see this expanded species range that are coming into the shallows in the near shore waters. You've got the 100 different types of sharks that we've got down here. Uh, I've got kudas, got all the mackerels, Ciro, Spanish, kings. Uh, during the cold snaps, we'll get the push from the east coast down, and we'll get the bluefish, sea trout, and then offshore, we'll have the wahoo. Now, what do all those fish have in common? They're toothy critters, and they'll go snip, snip, and there goes your hook and lure. But we have a solution for that, and that's wire. So on this video, I'm going to show you the basic technique for making your own wire leaders and why it's so important for you to learn this process rather than going to the store and buying pre-made wire leaders. To make our wire leaders, we're going to stick with the old KISS standard, which is keep it simple, stupid. All right. Uh, you can get super technical with this or you can just be very basic and basic is best. So you're going to start off with some simple stainless steel wire. This is just a single strand, super cheap. Uh, then we're going to need whatever hook or lure that you want to protect to make sure it doesn't get bitten off. And then your uh, mono leader. You can also, to make things easier to start with, is just some wire cutters. But I'm going to show you how to karate chop that wire and just cut it with your bare hands. But let's get started. Okay, we're going to be connecting the hook to the wire using what's called the hay wire twist. Start off by taking your wire, insert it through the eye of the hook. Give yourself a good four to five inches, even up to six inches when you first start. Uh, so you have a little bit more wire to work with. And then as you figure it out, you could reduce that. So once you've got the wire through there, you're going to bend it back over itself. Okay, and that's the half of our loop that we're going to start with. Next, we're going to pinch it with our thumb and forefinger at the hook side. And then we're going to create an X by twisting the two wires over themselves. Okay, so you have our first series of X's there. So you've got the loop where the hook is and they cross over. Now, what we're going to want to make sure that we do is, is that we want to twist these wires together. But we want to make sure that we don't twist one wire around the other one. We want this wire to twist around this wire, but also this wire to twist around this way. And you're going to do that by is making sure that there's space between the two so that there's a sharp enough of an angle that they're going to wrap around both of each other. Um, the way easy way I do it is I put my thumb underneath the two and then I use my two fingers, one on each side of the wire and then twist. Okay or do a half twist, bend it so that you keep that same angle, and then twist again. And we're going to do that uh, roughly five or six times, keeping that X, okay, so you can see they're wrapping around each other equally, not one wrapping around the other. There, and then we'll do one more. Okay, so we've got the first part of the haywire twist done there. Now the second part is to finish this off with barrel rolls, okay? And the way barrel rolls work is that the tag end is going to make tight loops right or right next to each other. So what you can do is straighten out the long main wire so it's straight with the haywire twist, okay? But now you're going to take the tag end and you're going to bend that so it's at a 45 degree angle, okay? So. Now it's perpendicular to the haywire twist part and the main line and then 45 degree angle you have, or at 90, 90 degree angle you have the tag end. Then we're going to start our tight loops going up the, uh, the main wire there. So you can hold it there, pinch it off, and then you're just going to loop it. And then just making sure that you stay right next to each other. The loops are very tight and compact. And then we're going to do the another five or six of these wraps. Five. And then one more. To finish it off there. 
and there we go. So we've got our haywire twist, we've got barrel rolls, and then we've got our main line, and then we still have our tag end sitting at a 45 degree angle. Now what we have to do is to break this tag end off. You could do it by cutting it with some wire cutters. The problem with that is it leaves a very sharp end on that uh, tag end, and if you grab it, it'll end up cutting you. So there's an easy way to break this wire off, and this is my karate chop method that I was talking about. All it is is that we're going to bend it back down towards the hook side, keeping it very straight, okay? And you want to get a sharp, sharp, tight bend on that, okay? And we're basically going to weaken it at the joint. So we're gonna push it down, then we're gonna push it up, and then down until that wire breaks. So you can support it, then move it up all the way, and move it back down all the way, and it just takes patience, okay? Just do a couple. The sharper you get that bend, the faster it'll break. So I wanna make sure that it pushes right up against that knot there, and back up, back down. The thinner the wire, the longer it takes, and you see it snapped off, okay? But the key part of it is it's a very smooth, you can't even feel the edge of it, and you'll never cut yourself. So that is our haywire twist. So now let's see how we connect the main wire to your mono leader. Okay, we've got our haywire twist attaching the hook to the wire. Now we're gonna wanna do a knot from our wire to our mono leader. And we're gonna be attaching that using the Albright knot. A very simple knot, a lot of people use it to attach their uh, mono leader to their uh, braided line. Uh, so the first step is, is that you're just going to give yourself a little bit of room there, and then you are bend the wire back onto itself and pinching it off, creating a sort of loop there. Okay, that's our first step. Next, we're gonna take our mono leader, run it up from underneath, through that loop of the wire, give ourselves a good amount of slack. Okay, and then we're gonna pinch it off here with our thumb and forefinger. Then we're gonna take that tag end of the mono and we're gonna start wrapping it around forming basically barrel rolls again, okay? So it'll be one right next to each other. And we're gonna to wanna to do about uh, six or seven. And then to keep them manageable, you can kinda of just snug them up there and then pinch it off. And we'll do another one there. Okay, once we've got our six or seven wraps, now we've gone from initially under, through the wire, then out. So now we're gonna to wanna to take our tag end and we're gonna do it opposite. We're gonna run it down through the wire loop. Oops. Okay. Now we're gonna do is start pulling the tag end and the uh, main line leader and start snugging it up. And that's gonna start forming our loops bringing it to the end there. And we're just gonna wanna start applying more pressure there. Pull on the tag end to tighten that up. And then pull on the main line, getting those loops to come butt up against there. You can use our tool here to create some tension. And snug it up so it's tight, okay. Now that we've got that, we could trim our tag end, the pliers, cutters, there. Now we've got this wire tag end to deal with. And the way we're gonna do that is you could, yeah, you could take your wire cutters and just trim it just like we did on the haywire twist, but what we're gonna wanna do is the same way we broke it by breaking it off. So you're going to want to bend it back onto itself, okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to do those sharp angles until it breaks. So you're just gonna go back onto itself, up the main line, back onto itself, and do that a few times until we get it to break. And just like that, it broke off. Nice, smooth, no uh, risk of cutting yourself. And there we go.
we've got our haywire twist connecting the hook with the wire and then our Albright knot connecting our wire to our mono leader. Okay, let me show you a comparison between some store-bought wire leader and our hand-built wire leader. They're both 44 pound wire. So as you can see here, their attachment is using a snap swivel to the hook, plus you have the uh, coated wire, plus it's doubled over and wrapped in order to create the, uh, the knot there. And you can compare to how clean ours is, is just the single strand wire with the wrappings there. On the back side, they utilize another swivel. Again, the uh, wire is doubled over plus some wrapping. Plus this, this is coated cable, so it's even thicker and compared to our 44 pound single strand wire. Alrighty, so that's how to do your own wire leaders using the haywire twist and an Albright knot. Uh, now I'll share with you a quick story of how important this is. Um, I was teaching one of my friends how to fish and we were out and on his boat and I was just pulling in cereal mackerel after cereal mackerel and he was just like, why are you catching them? But I'm not, we're using the same bait, we're standing right next to each other, what, what's the deal? Okay. Now prior to this, I had shown him, just like I showed you, how to do the haywire twist and the all right knot and do your own wire leaders. Okay, but he felt it was difficult, so when he went down to the tackle shop, those guys, of course, sold them on something, sold them to buy these things because money solves all problems, okay? Then, so what I did is I held up my leader and held up his leader, and I said, can you figure out why now, okay? And he looked at it and said, wow, okay, there's a huge difference between all that hardware versus how clean this was. And I said, yep, that's all it is, okay? So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful, but uh, man, lots of toothy critters out there. So unless you got a big supply of hooks and lures, learn how to do a wire later. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. Oh, what about that? Buy a shirt.